we emphasized that the issues we want to address are focused on migration, climate change, food security, deeper cooperation between CARICOM and SICA over the next uh, five months. We also just held a bilateral with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Dominican Republic and with the Secretary General, in which we were able to have an exchange of views on very important matters, including the issue of Haiti and the very precarious position in Haiti at this time, as well as some migration issues. We uh, consider Belize uh, a, not only a very important partner within the system, but an essential one, as Foreign Minister Courtney has pointed out, because of particular role that Belize plays as a bridge between our Central American system and the CARICOM um, group of countries. So we expect this six-month presidency of Belize to be a very important one. During our tenure and our PPT, we hope to focus on the question of food security. One of the lessons of the COVID-19 pandemic is the massive interruption to the free flow of goods, the ability to trade when ports, airports and seaports were just closed down. And you had to rely primarily on what was available within your own borders. We have seen the impact of the war in Ukraine and Russia and Ukraine, and to see the way in which that has had an impact on the cost of goods, and indeed the cost of services, shipping services, have increased, the costs have increased dramatically. And so we want to take a look at the impact of COVID Ukraine on the free flow of goods in the region, and to devise strategies as how we can become more resilient in the event, or when the next pandemic comes, or when the next shock comes. And that this is again the relaunching of the institution, so that perhaps now, we can start looking. Economic development comes from jobs, 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 decent jobs, stable jobs. And that is what we uh, eventually have to create. Those are creating the conditions so that jobs will flow to the region.